Greetings duplicants and welcome to the breach. The two big tasks for today are to produce metal in a metal refinery and then build a self-powered oxygen maker. On screen you can see where we were at the end of the last episode. Then you see the base at cycle 100 where I've done some more excavation and exploring. And finally cycle 128. So the first project of the day on cycle 130 is producing a metal refinery. Due to the duplicates excavating a number of biomes, we have access to a lot of standing water at the moment. Unfortunately, we have not found a renewable source of water. As they say, time and tide waits for no man, or duplicant in this case. We need to push on and develop the base. Sometimes when you're editing these clips, you look at what you did and you go, why did I do it like that? And you cannot remember for the life of you. I don't know why I'm connecting the cold generators like this, but that's how it happens. This small temporary setup needs to produce enough metals so we can explore the oil biome. For that to happen, we need to set up a self-powered oxygen maker and build some atmospheric suits and docks. Once we've produced the SPOM and the atmospheric suits will produce a small amount of metal to allow us to access the high temperature liquids of petroleum and crude oil. From there we'll gain access to cooling and then the world's that oyster will be able to tame all the vents available to us on this asteroid. We're going to need a large quantity of refined copper for piping, conductive wire, and to build the atmospheric suits and docks. And there's the first refined copper from this setup, which means we can now proceed to the next item on the list, which is producing a SPOM. I'm working on a large asteroid and the plan is to have a fair number of duplicates working for me. So I'm going to build a large Rodriguez. I know a lot of people in the community hate this design, but I don't understand why. It's simple, it's elegant, it, it just works, as Todd Howard would say. But each to their own, I will be building a Rodriguez, but you won't see me building things like infinite storage because it's just how I play. As you can see, I'm placing the self-powered oxygen maker in the marsh biome that I dug out. The outside of this building will be built with insulated tiles. I've uh, built six gas pumps along the bottom. These are all produced with gold amalgam. Just in case I need the extra heat headroom because I have to feed uh, 95 degrees Celsius water to this spawn. I'm going to be building the SPOM as if I'm going to be feeding it minus 10 degree salt water or polluted water. If I don't get access to that kind of water, I will have to build a separate chiller unit for the gas coming out of here. But that kind of setup will have to wait until after I get access to a steam generator. From this point until it's built, it takes about 20 minutes in real time to build this self-powered oxygen maker. I'm not going to make you sit through it in real time with the magic of editing. Let's speed things up a little. At the moment, we're waiting on the refined copper to build the atmospheric centers. and I'm going to build the electrolyzers out of gold amalgam to give me that extra heat headroom. I'm going to feed the electrolyzers with clean water from the refiners that I'll have on the roof of the power unit for the SPOM. I could have built this a little bit earlier than I have done, but I was exploring the surrounding biomes, hoping to find a water source that was uh, nicely chilled. That unfortunately didn't happen. I've come across a few cool steam vents, but nothing chilled. It's now reached the point that my duplicates need to be into atmospheric suits to speed up my exploration progress. Moving over to a self-powered oxygen maker earlier means that I have far more algae left for when I get into the space portion of my exploration. Once I've got the SPOM online, I'll want to seal the base so I'm only pressurizing a certain area and not the whole map. Then to allow my duplicates to leave the base, I'll need to power and supply oxygen to some atmospheric docks where they'll pick up their exosuits. Once you get the duplicates into an exosuit, you want to make sure they have a good athletic score or they'll be slow and uh, dawdling 
around the map. It's as if every step up the technological ladder adds extra problems for you to solve. When you turn on a spawn, you need to run it for a while to get rid of all the mixed gases within inside this area. This top pump normally removes the hydrogen which we feed into our generators. Initially, we're going to build the pipe so it just uh, takes out all the waste gases that we don't want. But by adding a gas bridge, we'll eventually force the gases where we want them to go and send them into the generators and have this pipe as an overflow. I've just laid down the first level of the self-powered part of the oxygen maker. The transformers and the smart battery are made out of the refined metals and the hydrogen generator is made out of gold amalgam for the extra heat resistance that it offers. All the items in the top portion of the SPOM produce heat, but what we're going to do is cool that down using the hydrogen gas that this will produce, and then we burn the hydrogen and therefore delete the excess temperature. The gas piping we're adding now is going to be what cools the equipment in here and also backs up and stores hydrogen that we need if there's any interruption in the water supply. On top of the spawn, we'll add some water storage and our refinement units. These will all be powered by the hydrogen generators in the spawn itself. Just like we built the heat exchanging gas pipes in the top of the SPOM, in the bottom we're going to use the water to cool down the oxygen as it's uh, pumped out of the SPOM itself. The cooler the water that we feed into the system the better because the cooler the oxygen comes out. We're going to build these pipes out of copper but if we had access to aluminium that would be an even better choice if you wanted to upgrade this system. We're having slight technical difficulties at the moment because we're using copper quicker than we can produce it at the moment.
to jump start the spawn we're going to power it with some coal generators this will allow us to pump out all the unnecessary gases and get the electrolyzers to produce some hydrogen ready to feed to the hydrogen generators within the spawn itself And there we have it, a full Rodriguez self-powered oxygen maker. Now we have the Rodriguez built, we need to supply it with some water. Luckily, for the last few cycles I've been storing some clean water up ready for this exact situation. This clean water was originally from the marsh biome where the steam vent was, so it's slightly warmer than I would like, but I do have a lot of it in storage. Hopefully this will give me plenty of time to either search out a cool water vent or get to the point where I have a cooling solution available. Well, that's the water being piped in. We now need to make sure that we can uh, get the clean oxygen out and into the base. Although this self-powered oxygen maker will be a permanent structure, the piping will not be. It will probably be rearranged at some point once I've got more in the base finalised. And especially once I find out what my cooling solution will be. Although our duplicates are still working on some of the gas piping, we're going to turn on the coal generators to start feeding the water through the refinement setup and down into the electrolyzers. We're going to build some gas storage so our top pump has somewhere to dump all the mixed gases that will be in the spawn. Once all these mixed gases are removed we'll add a gas bridge and redirect all the hydrogen into power generation. And here's the gas pump pumping out the last of the polluted oxygen from the top section. Very quickly, especially with a bit of editing magic, we no longer have any polluted oxygen in the top section. It's all either vacuum or hydrogen. We can add the gas bridge. Once we have the gas bridge built, we are redirecting the hydrogen towards the hydrogen generators and the oxygen maker becomes self-powered. So we, therefore we can delete the coal generators. Well, I've completed the two building projects I wanted to, so that will be the end of the episode. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the other side.